Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel for my analytical chemistry online tutorial. Today we are going to solve problem on precipitation gravimetry. Now here is the problem. An iron ore was analyzed by dissolving a 1.1324 gram sample in concentrated hydrochloric acid. The resulting solution was diluted with water and the resulting uh, ferric ion was precipitated as hydrous oxide by the addition of ammonia. After filtration and washing, the residue was ignited at high temperature to give 0 0.5394 grams of pure ferric oxide. Calculate percent ferric oxide, percent uh, iron, and percent ferroso ferric oxide in the sample. Okay? Now, Class, when we are going to solve problem, no? the technique is first, uh, you have to write down the uh, given in the problem, all given in the problem. So in this problem, we are given the mass of sample, which is equal to 1.1324 grams. So we write it down here. Okay. Also, we are given the mass of precipitate, which is equal to 0 0.5394 grams. So here it is, okay? And take note that our precipitate here is the ferric oxide. And then we are required to calculate the percent ferric oxide, percent iron, and percent peroso ferric oxide. Now, to solve a problem class or analysis problem, it is very helpful if you are going to write down first the flow diagram of an analysis. Okay, in this problem, this is the flow diagram, okay? So, first, we have here the sample containing iron. We digested the sample with hydrochloric acid. The purpose of digestion is to convert our iron here into ions. But class, it is a very common sense, no? That adding acid into our sample uh, cannot, our acid here cannot completely dissolve with our sample. So digestion here is associated with heating. Now after digestion, all of the iron in the sample are converted into ferric ions. Then we precipitated these ferric ions as per, uh, hydrous ferric oxide by adding ammonia solution. Then we filter, was and ignited our precipitate. The end product uh, here is the ferric oxide, which is equal to 0 0.5394 grams. Now, before we calculate, we have to write down first all important factors that is very important in our calculation. Now, in this problem, we have this uh, very important conversion factor. One mole of ferric oxide uh, contains two moles of iron. So, as an agi base, there is a formula of F ferric oxide, which is Fe2O3. So, one mole of Fe2O3 contains two moles of Fe. And this one mole of Fe2O3 is equal to 159.69 grams of ferric oxide. And this is also equivalent to two times the molar mass of iron. So, uh, per one mole, the molar mass of iron is 55.847 grams. Also, for perosoferic oxide, one mole of perosoferic oxide contains three moles of iron. And this one mole of perosoferic oxide is equal to 231.54 grams of perosoferic oxide. Now, as iron, this is equal to three times the molar mass of Fe. Okay? Now we proceed to calculation. First, we have to calculate the percent ferric oxide. Now, this can be easily calculated because the mass of precipitate here is given and the mass of sample is also given. So we simply substitute the value in this equation. So percent ferric oxide is equal to 0 0.53 grams of ferric oxide over 1.132 grams of sample times 100. So simplifying this, we end up percent ferric oxide equal to 47.63%. Now let's proceed to calculation of uh, percent iron. Supposedly, we calculate percent iron using this equation. 
mass of iron over mass of sample times 100. But take note, the mass of iron here is not given. So we can calculate percent iron using this percent ferric oxide. We can convert this percent ferric oxide into percent iron using this conversion factor. So we have now here the new equation, percent iron is equal to percent of ferric oxide times 2 times formula mass or molar mass of iron divided by the molar mass of ferric oxide. Now you notice here, this is a ferric oxide. So to cancel ferric oxide, we position ferric oxide in the denominator so that the unit of this can be canceled by the unit of this. So the result here is okay. So we substitute the value of this. So this is now uh, the result and the a percent iron is equal to 33.32%. Now let's proceed to the calculation of percent ferroso ferric oxide. Supposedly, we are going to calculate percent ferroso ferric oxide as mass of ferroso ferric oxide over the mass of sample times 100. But the mass of uh, ferroso, uh, ferroso ferric oxide is not given. So we, we are going to calculate percent ferroso ferric oxide from the percent iron. We are going to convert this percent iron into percent ferroso ferric oxide using this conversion factor. Okay? So the formula for the calculation of percent ferroso ferric oxide is equal to percent iron times the formula mass or the molar mass of the ferroso ferric oxide over three times the formula mass of iron. So substituting the values, we obtained percent fer ferroso ferric oxide equal to 46.04%. I hope my uh, solution is clear. Okay. Now, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for viewing.